Epilepsy is the fourth most common neurological problem people face. In today's HealthCast, Local 10's Christy Kruger shows us how doctors are now working with a treatment option that allows patients to live seizure-free lives without the risks of traditional surgery. There was a time when Alejandro Hernandez was uneasy about getting behind the wheel. Following a diagnosis of epilepsy, he never knew exactly when a seizure might strike. So I had my third grandma when I was uh, in my mid-20s. And then after that, I, I went to different neurologists and I was trying different medications. And every time I would see a new doctor, they would tell me, oh, yeah, that medication's not good. You should try this one. And if that one doesn't work, let's try this one because I've seen this before. Alejandro dreaded the idea of undergoing an invasive surgery called temporal lobectomy. It's done through a very large incision on one side or the other of the, of the head. Large bony removal under a microscope. There's a lot of tissue that needs to be removed that is not necessary to remove. You have to remove it so you can get to the areas that you need to get to. Dr. Jonathan Jagged, a neurosurgeon with the University of Miami Health System, is now working with a new approach. It's called laser interstitial thermal therapy, or LIT. You're inserting a little, like a fiber optic laser probe, about a little under two millimeters in diameter, right down to the area, and then you're just ablating, and you're doing it in real time. So you see what you're ablating on an MR scanner as you do it, so you know what your results are and what tissue you've damaged. So far, the LIT procedure appears to be close to or equally as effective as the more invasive surgery. So the ultimate goal is always a cure, and if we can cure you, then the next goal is to gradually over time reduce your medication and return you to a better quality of life. For the most part now, I've been able to do everything that that I couldn't do when I had the seizures. Now, because the laser is minimally invasive, it does reduce recovery time and the risk of complications. But as with even the more invasive surgeries, it's only for a small subset of patients where removing or ablating the source of the seizures does not end up affecting brain tissue that's necessary for other functions. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Krueger.